What's up, here's Shyback. Just before we get into CAT 12 and CAT Optimal stuff, short info. I'm getting tons of requests from you to do this kind of uh, review just based on the websites about different bikes, the, the ranges to explain you the differences. And I think it's cool, but in order not to mess up with my viewers on the Shyback channel who are more training, cycling academy oriented, my cycling vlogging life oriented, uh, I created the bike guide channel and I'm gonna put those videos, this kind of videos, on the bike guide channel. It will, it will only be like buyer's guide channel. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, so that would be probably the last website based review on the Shyback channel, okay? And now we're gonna hit into our topic. So, Canadell, uh, as most of the brands uh, have their racing bikes, they, they will have endurance, so more comfy bikes and so on and so on. CAT12 and CAT Optimo have two things in common. They are both aluminum alloy bikes and second, from 2017, uh, they will have both same racing geometry. CAD 8, which is now replaced by Optimo, used to be the entry-level elite bike with a bit more comfy position on the bike. It's no longer like that. If you want a comfy, go for Endurance, for Synapse. Now Super 6 Evo, CAD 12 and CAD Optimo have same geometry. And other thing is also that even though you don't see it right away here, CAD Optimo, these are actually two different frame sets, all right? So let's, let's just see uh, what is the difference. Then we'll do some comparison of those um, two models. And at the end, I'm gonna sh tell you what are my tips, my favorites, one, my favorites here. All right, so Canada CAD Optimo version rim brake and version 40. Uh, disc brakes here on the 105 and Toyagra components. The difference between the rim brake and disc brake, so these are the differences. As not, uh, are not only uh, in the brakes, the rim brake bike will have the fully external cable routing. You can see the shifting cables going down here on the bottom of the top tube outside of, of it. And also the uh, braking cable is uh, on the outside of the top tube. The second thing is that it will have the BSA, so threaded bottom bracket. Uh, it is heavier, a bit less stiff, and also we can say that still it's um, easier in terms of the maintenance. And now if you look at any of those uh, disc brakes version, this is the brighter color, it will be easier for us to see. You will see that even though we have shifting cables outside, the braking one goes internally. So that will be different, so no cable here on the top tube. The second difference is that you can see right away this is the BB30 bottom bracket. Stiffer and lighter, it's not threaded one, so the frame set will also be more expensive because of that. Um, and you just choose what you would prefer here. Okay, so this is the Canada CAD Optimo. Now if we go to the CAD 12, this is the, in my opinion, the best or for sure the, one of the best aluminum racing bikes in the world period i've been riding cat 10 which was just awesome i tried cat 12 brilliant bike uh, so what about this one this is the smart ford premium uh, aluminum uh, alloy so this bike will be extremely light uh, it's not not much over uh, one kilo for the frame so really light bike uh, both Optimo and tw uh, CAT12 will have safe speed system so that you will have a bit more comfort, comfort on the bike. And here essentially we're gonna have the rim brake version and uh, disc brake version. So same uh, bottom bracket here. What kind of bottom bracket it is? Let me show you in the comparison of the four, those four bikes. We have CAT12 on 105, CAT12 um, disc on 105 and then Optimo Tiagra, Optimo Disc Tiagra. So the first um, and the most important um, difference is that here we have smart form C1 premium bikes. So CAT12 will, will be extremely light. The second one, these are not only BB30 but BB30 asymmetrical. So the bottom bracket shell is wider on the non-drive side, super stiff and very, very light. As you can see, this one, Optimo with no disc brakes, 
uh, will have uh, no info about the bottom bracket here but here we can see BB30 and it's not a mistake it is just like that. Now Canada Cut 12 will have um, forks with the carbon blades and carbon steerer uh, the Cut uh, the Optimo will only have carbon blades with aluminum steerer but both bikes all the models will have tapered uh, head tube so 118 to 114 on all the bikes which is really uh, really cool and that's pretty much uh, it so what would be my favorites from these bikes from uh, among the cat 12 i would really go for the model which has the hologram crankset because this frame is so strong the bottom bracket is so stiff it will easily outperform any crankset and the hologram si is the stiffest crankset canada have made i'm having it on my super 6 evo brilliant so if you if you don't care so much about the money cat 12 will be just awesome if you are a beginning cyclist or you are buying the bike for your child who is just starting uh, and you don't know whether he she will like it or you if it's for you you will love it optimo will be a great option remember racing position but still you have some spacers here so you can go up and down with your uh, with your stem and which one would i choose I would not have chosen these two which which have uh, the old type bottom bracket I would start with Toyagra so um, unless you live in the mountainous region and you really need the disc brakes this one uh, just CAD Optimo Toyagra would be just enough for me so BSA bottom bracket the integrated spindle with the right uh, crank arm really good option and i would just got, go for that if you need some good brakes you are all almost often often um, riding in the in the um, wet conditions then the disc brakes would be better for you uh, now i would not start your journey with uh, training with cat 12 it will be more expensive just start with cat optimo and see how things goes uh, and then if you will love it and you will need those 250 grams savings for the frame and some additional um, savings for the fork so maybe around five uh, half a kilo for the frame set between cat 12 and cat optimo then you can opt for this beautiful beautiful and extremely highly manipulated uh, frame in terms of the forming that's what i wanted to tell you just remember cat optimo two different bikes two different frame sets Cut 12 is lovely with the candle hologram crankset. Thank you for watching. I'm waiting for your comments. See ya.